Hey guys, today I'm filming a hits and misses video on the brand Sonia Kashuk. Now, Sonia Kashuk is exclusively sold at Target and it's more on the expensive side of drugstore makeup, but a lot of the things are awesome. Now, I don't have a whole bunch of things to show you, but I think I have enough so I can talk a little bit in depth about each product, but the video won't be half an hour long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with the hits. So Sonia Kashuk has a whole lot of items in her collection. She has a bunch of cosmetics and she also sells brushes, which is really cool because not very many drugstore brands sell brushes. So I've got two to show you. One is actually discontinued, so I'll show you that first. Um, and I'm sorry to show you something discontinued, but I hope that you guys got to get this. And this is the Flat Top Sculpting Brush. I believe this is a dupe from MAC 183. Um, if I got the number wrong, I'll annotate it, but I use this today for um, a product I'll show you in a minute, but this is just gives you a really chiseled contour. Is this a must have brush? No, I don't think so. I prefer my Real Techniques contour brush for contouring over this. This is a hit. It's really different than any other brush I've seen and um, I think it's really nice. It's not too dense, but it's dense enough and the bristles aren't scratchy or anything. It's a really nice quality. And the next brush you can get, and it is the Sony Kashuk Spoolie. This retails for $2, I believe, and I'm obsessed with this. You can just get regular old spoolie wands, um, disposable ones. I like it because it's got a long handle to it. And I had another one of these for like a year or two years, and it was just getting gross, so I threw it out. I mean, it was only $2, and you can't really clean spoolies um, like this. Uh, but I really love this. I use it every single day to brush my eyebrows into place. I use it between steps. I think this is absolutely amazing and I definitely recommend it. I know it's just a spoolie but I think the quality is really nice. So now I'm going to move on to two brow products which are actually new items in the Sonia Kashuk line. The first is the Sonia Kashuk Twist Up Longwear Brown Pencil. Mine is in the color taupe. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing all of these products today, um, almost all of them, and I use both of the brushes. So I absolutely love this eyebrow pencil. Um, it goes on really well. It's got a little bit of a waxy texture, so it keeps your brows in place, but it doesn't, it's not so waxy that it makes it look like you have got three eyebrow hairs because they're so clumped together. I don't know if you can see the swatch here. This is a little bit red, which unfortunately happens with a lot of blonde eyebrow pencils, but it's not too red that it's um, that I can't work with it. But I really love the, the consistency of this and I definitely recommend it. And it is twist up. I don't think, it doesn't twist back down. So be careful of that because I was twisting it up and twisting it up and then realized it wouldn't go back down. But um, I'm not sure how much product is actually in this because like I said, um, it doesn't twist back down. So I didn't want to mess it up by twisting it all the way up. But um, I really like this. I like the packaging. I like that you don't have to sharpen it. So I think this is awesome. And another new item which I looked everywhere for, which was the Sonia Kashuk Tinted Brow Gel. This only comes in one color, but I think this is really universal. I like that this is a cool tone color, which will help with my pencil being a little bit warm. And I've only used this two times, but I love it. It holds my brows in place, but they're not crunchy. If you guys have used the Maybelline Great Lash Clear Mascara, that's what I used to use, and I really liked it but it was so much goopy product that I had to wipe it off on the back of my hand first, then put it on my eyebrows, and then comb it out. With this, it gives you really nice product, but it's not too much. The stopper gets off a lot of product, and I just use what's ever on the brush, and I run it over both eyebrows, and I think this is amazing. And they Sony Kashuk also sells a clear version of this in case you weren't interested in the tinted version, but I've not seen too many tinted brow gels in the drugstore besides a Revlon has one. So I really wanted to try this out and I really love it. Um, I'm going to have a brow routine coming within the next month featuring these products and some others. So I'm really excited about them and definitely recommend both of these. So now I've got some more face products and first thing I have to show you are the beautifying blushes. Now Sunia Kashuk is um, changing her packaging to black so if you, I personally like the white packaging instead of the black so if you can get your hands on the white packaging I definitely recommend it. They're not on sale or anything but they're just slowly transforming the packaging. Um, 
so I've got two colors to show you. I have Melon and Tawny. I got Tawny a long time ago based on the recommendation of Lauren Noir, who used to be known as Lauren is OK. And I have the shade Melon, which I got off recommendation of Beauty Moxie. And these blushes are so pigmented and they retail for either nine or $10, which might be a little steep, but for the pigmentation and the quality, I think they're really nice. I love the packaging. It's a magnetic closure. They're really soft blushes, but they don't have a lot of fallout and they're not powdery. So I think that's just really good quality. Now, Tawny, I don't think is a must have a color. You can see it's a nice neutral. So this would be good as an office type blush or a school blush just something more neutral or if you got a lot going on on your eyes and you want a neutral cheek this would be perfect and i really love using this like fall time but um it's really nice quality it's like a nice neutral peach color so here it is i need to bust this out again because it is pretty but i just um it's not as dramatic as some of my other blushes that i love Speaking of which, I have Melon, which is a really nice matte peachy pink color. This is so beautiful, and I definitely recommend this color. I like Tawny too, but this color is just amazing. So I've got it swatched here on the bottom, and I'm wearing it today. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but this is amazing, and I definitely recommend this blush. And last, um, my last hit is the cream bronzer which is also new to Sony Cashlex line and this is in a shade warm tan there's also a rich bronze you can see this is more orange tone but I find that it still blends really well on my skin and um, you do have to be careful because it is orange but the darker shade is got no orange tones to it but it is really dark but these bl here is the swatch here but these blend really easily and they dry down to a powder finish which is perfect i usually do apply a powder contour on my cheekbones to make it a little bit more dramatic but i think that this is an awesome product and it's really innovative i think so this is really cool but this can look pretty up uh, pretty orange on me so i've got to be careful of it and blend it really well and now I've got my last product, which is a mess. This is the Sonia Cashlook Illuminating Bronzer in number 40 Goddess. It's a nice crocodile snakeskin pattern. And that is why I purchased it. I fell for the design. And um, if you look at this, can you see how metallic bronze this is? This is supposed to be a bronzer. Do you see how metallic-y orange this is? This is like the Betty Luminizer to me, and I cannot figure out any which way to wear that. And I um, have never used this product. I've only swatched it because I'm scared to death to go out in public wearing something like that on my face. Um, I like a shimmery bronzer. If you're interested in one, I recommend the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sundance. This is crazy looking I mean it's very interesting and pretty but it's way too metallic to be a bronzer it's not even shimmery it's metallic like mm, I don't I'm not a fan of that so those are all the products I have to show you I'm sorry that's not very many but um, if I had a bunch of products in this video, it would have been an hour long. So um, my Sony Kashuk wish list items would definitely be the blush in Sunset. I've heard a lot of great things about that. But I want you guys to let me know if that is more um, like coral or if it's more orange. Because I don't like orange blushes, but I do love coral. And um, I don't really have any other wish list items, but I want you guys to tell me your favorite Sony Kashuk products. I've heard a lot about the concealer palette. I wonder um, if you guys have ever tried the concealer pot. Let me know what you think of that. And just let me know your favorite products or if you've tried any of these. What are your thoughts? And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.